Hello Capricorn, this is your reading for today, February 7th. It's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Alright, I'm getting the feeling that you guys are waiting on something. I think that you know you are healing for sure. Um, not taking very many moves, just like or making very many moves. But just trying to work on yourself, putting in the work, and um, you know, just seeing where it takes you, I feel, okay? Let's see what's going on from a Capricorns. The Empress, yeah, growth, happiness. You're working on yourself, um, loving yourself, being there for your family, being supportive here. Four of Cups, not really focused on love, I feel. I think mostly you guys are focused on yourself, like I said. Um, you're feeling stable. And I think you don't really want to rock the boat right now. Okay? I think you probably are waiting on the one, is what I'm getting here. As I pull the Three of Wands out. Yes. Waiting on the one. Okay? Waiting what? Waiting on what um, you feel like you deserve in your life. Not accepting anything less. Not even being bothered with it, okay? Not wasting your time here. That's what that is. With that page of cups, not wasting your time. Only devoting your energy to um, things and situations and people who you feel like deserve it, okay? If you feel like somebody is going to bring you down or they're not in the right energy, you guys are vacating. It's what I'm getting from you guys, okay? Hmm. I feel like you definitely are choosing yourself, but I, I think you do. You know, you want a little spark in your life, I feel. You would love to be with someone, but right now I think you're kind of... Honestly, what I'm getting is that um, you guys definitely want to be with someone, okay? And there's somebody that's on your mind, I feel. But I think that from past experience and past issues, you kind of, you're kind of leery. Okay, you're kind of leery about um, really getting in too deep with someone. But there's definitely somebody on your mind is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, and you want that Ten of Cups. Somebody may feel like you guys are ignoring them as well. That you're not, um, that you're not accepting their love. That, you, that they're not good enough. Or it's not good enough. It's not what you want. And you're waiting on something else. Hmm. Ten of Wands. Somebody is really willing to <laughs> take whatever you guys have to dish out. It's just what I'm getting here. They want this Ten of Cups with you. And to be honest with you, you feel the same way. But it's not necessarily about the person that is in your energy. You want the Ten of Cups regardless, okay? And whoever can give you that ultimate fulfillment, that's the direction that you're going in. It's just what I'm getting here. You're not going to accept anything less. It's just the bottom line here. You're looking for that person that not only, you know, evokes that spark in you, like that sexual spark, that energetic spark, you are looking for somebody that can like fulfill you emotionally, that you can have great conversations with, that you can travel with, that you can have a good time with. You want it freaking all. And I don't blame you. <laughs> Shoot. Let's see what we've got. Yeah. And you're going for it. You're going for it. Mm -hmm. And you're determined here with the Knight of Cups to get what you want. Okay, and if this is a job for you, this is like you guys, you're doing something that really, um, you know, makes your heart sing. Okay, and I almost feel like some of you are being pulled between what you're actually doing as a career or, you know, in your business that you love it so much and you really don't know if you have the time for an intimate relationship. Okay, because there's def definitely somebody in your energy that feels like um, that you guys are not really accepting what they have to offer. And um, but I get that you feel the same way. You're just really kind of you're kind of on the fence right now is what I'm getting here. Okay, let's see what your outside influence is here. 
Hmm. There's something that you've realized, something you feel like you can be victorious around here. And the Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. You feel like that what you're doing, um, whatever it is that you're investing in, whatever it is that you are investing your time in, not just money, but your time in, is going to pay off for you. And I think that's why you are so focused here. You know, you're so focused here to get, you know, what it is that you want. And there's something that's, you're going for your happiness. And you just, you're not accepting anything less. I just keep getting that over and over and over again, okay? Hmm. Coming out of being stuck, coming out of sacrificing yourself for other people. But I feel like um, there's lots of travel going on here. There's lots of communication, lots of loving communication going on here. Okay? Somebody's trying to bring you out of your shell. I don't feel like you're sacrificing. You're just like, you know, you, you're enlightening yourself here. The sun is here. It's just not present in your spread. There's a lot of things that you've realized about your life, about people. But there's definitely somebody that, that loves you, I feel, okay? We have Taurus, we have Sagittarius, Pisces, um, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, um, Cancer, Aries. We have maybe Scorpio energies here. Mm-hmm. Strong Gemini. Okay, guys, so let me pull a Romance Angels card to see what message they have for you guys and close this out. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe some of you guys will decide, you know, in all this communication, all this moving around and shifting and travel, that you will actually give somebody a chance here. If you haven't already, because I feel the energy is there for this to happen, okay? You're just really not that sure about it right now because you are feeling very stable, you know, emotionally stable, okay? And not really want anything to interfere with that is what I'm getting here. But um, I definitely see that this energy, feel this energy shifting, um, that this could be a very good connection for you guys. Um, only if you feel like it's victorious, which I feel like you do. I feel like you do. All right, guys. So that's just for today, February 7th. I'll be speaking with you guys soon.